from a paper cup You drown your sorrows till you can't stand up And take a look at what you've done to yourself Why don't you, you put the bottle back on the shelf Yellow finger from your cigarettes Your hands are shaking while your body sweats Why don't you look into Jesus He got the answer Praise the Lord, and God bless you. Welcome in right here, right now. Welcome to my world for a day, the life of an evangelist. I am your host, brother, Eddie Cheney. And all this is is me just sharing what uh, I go through pretty much on a daily basis. We'll be sharing uh, revivals. We'll be sharing the, the war on the front line. Yeah, the battles that goes on every day, whether we're trying to preach through the radio or uh, at the courthouse on the uh, public square, we are at war with the devil and his angels. And uh, we're crying out to the prayer warriors to say, hey, we need your prayers. We need you to be praying for us. But we wanted to share just some of the things that uh, we deal with on a daily basis. Now, remember, this is not a program for little children. So please, uh, you know, monitor it. Because some of these calls that I receive every day, I have to go through the calls. And and I pray for these people. You know, I mean, I don't hold conversation with them. You know, these are left on their, on their lines, on their uh, testimony line. 
uh, their left. Um, and, uh, you know, our numbers are out there to the public. We're not going to hide. We're not going to hide behind nothing except, well, we're on the rock, not behind the rock. We're on the rock, Jesus Christ. But my, my mailing address is open. I receive hate mail. I receive threatening phone calls constantly. It's a, it's a daily thing. But we got to continue to pray. And sometimes people will say to me, they'll say, evangelist, you look down. What's wrong with you? You don't sound like you're up. Well, when you're on the front line battling every moment of every day of your life, you do get a little tired and you need some support. You need some prayers. You need a hug. You need your brothers to say, hey, I don't understand what you're doing, but brother, I'm going to pray for you anyway because I love you. Because if you confess Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're my brother or sister. See, my family is those that do the will of the Father. You get me so far? But but now, everything we do don't look, uh, well, some people just can't figure it out. And it don't look right to them. It really don't. I don't understand everything the pastor does. I don't understand everything the, the, the uh, uh, choir director does. I don't understand everything you do, my friend. Do you hear me? But here's the thing. <clears throat> How do we know if it's of God or not? Well, if it lines up with the Word of God, it's of God. And uh, that's the truth. I mean, there's many spirits coming at us, and uh, we've got to uh, pray and see if those spirits be of God. If it don't line up with the Word of God, it's not of God, bottom line. So if you mess up, you repent, and you get up and go again. But now if but now, listen to me. Listen to me for a minute. Gee, don't get your panties in a wad just yet. Listen. As you learn to pray for those of us that are out there on the battlefield and pray for your family and pray for yourself. If uh, you're born again, you're in war with the devil. He is seeking whom he may devour. He's out to destroy you, my friend. And that's the truth. He's about his job. Are you about your job? <clears throat> that's where we get down to the sand, the dirt of the matter. Amen. Get her hands and get involved on the front lines of this battle and they are souls hanging in the balance so please remember uh, welcome to my world for a day it is not a program for children i will be sharing some of these phone calls that i receive and 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 you know i get hammered people say well why do you want to share your life you know the good the bad the ugly the happy the sad well the truth is if you're born again if you died, you have no life. If Christ reigns in you, there is no way to separate it and say, okay, this is my private life over here, and this is my Christian life over here. This is my Eddie Cheney life over here, and this is the evangelist life over here. They just ain't no way to do that. See, Jesus says, listen, we've got to give 100% to him. 99 and a half ain't going to do. If you give it all to him, guess what? Your life is an open book whether you like it or not. This 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 war is is fought in the public arena called the world, and uh, I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to stand up and tell you I confess Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I'm not ashamed to stand up and tell you that I am a called and ordained evangelist by God. Now, are you going to like everything I do? Probably not. Are you going to agree with everything I say? Probably not. But if you claim to be born again, if you're claiming to be bathed in the blood, if you're claiming to be a child of the Most High, do you hear me? You're my brother. You're my sister. So I ask you to pray for me. And at least listen to the program before you make, uh, you know, a self-righteous judgment. You know, because we live in a world reality. You walk, you hear more. You hear the same language you're going to hear on this program. You, you hear when you're watching uh, Wild Wild West. Uh, you hear when you're watching them lust shows, Days of Our Lives and things where, you know, you, you, you're waiting on to see who's going to commit adultery with who. And, you know, you're waiting to see who's cheated on who and who's going to kill who. And, and you're wasting so much of your time away that you're caught up in the drama and it becomes a reality part of your life. And wherever you're at, you got to hurry up and get home so you don't miss your favorite TV show. You know, uh, whether it be Wild Wild West or Bonanza, you know, or going, uh, uh, going uh, north to Alaska. You know, so much about it. See, it goes on and on and on. The truth is, we live in a world where we don't hear good things all the time, but we must be uh, brave enough, strong enough, and full of God enough to discern and throw the garbage out of our life. And you're going to hear garbage on this program. But I wanted to share with you uh, 
well, my world for a day. Uh, usually I get up in the morning and uh, I, I, I pray. I, I get in my quiet place and I still away and I pray. For uh, First, I start praying for my family, my wife, my children, my grandchildren. And then I pray for the my neighbors and my friends on the job site and the community. And I pray for those people that I met yesterday that asked me to remember their request as I try to make a note of it. And I call them out by name. And throughout while I'm praying, I also uh, call your name if you're a friend of ours on Facebook, Evangelist Eddie Cheney. Then I call those names out as well. All two, Right now we have 233 friends. We used to have a lot more. You know, on that, you know, the word friend on there. That don't mean they all my personal friends. That means that's what you call them on Facebook because you have to accept a friend uh, request. Um, but anyhow, you know, the truth, I still call all those names out when I am in prayer uh, because I know that we're supposed to pray one for another. And I pray for those that are on there that don't know Jesus Christ, that they would uh, accept him today. For this is the day of salvation. Every day, I pray that. For those that are on fire for God, I pray for them that they would continue to uh, be obedient to the Lord, even unto death. I pray for those that are hurting. I pray for those that need a, a, a miracle in their life, those that need a healing, those that need finances, those that just need a friend, those that just need to know somebody cares enough to call out your name while we're praying. And we do that. I believe we should all take time to do that as much as possible. How long does it take me to do that? <laughs> all day. <laughs> all through the day, we're to pray without ceasing. I've always got things and someone on my mind in some situation. Uh, somebody's made a phone call. Somebody's threatened me. Somebody's lied on me. Somebody's trying to kill me. I'm praying for them. I'm praying that God have mercy upon them, for they know not what they do, and we don't want to see no one miss heaven and make hell their home. So we pray for them, and we pray earnestly. You understand how it works? So welcome to my world for a day, the life of your host, me, the evangelist, Brother Eddie Cheney. <clears throat> Sometimes I get cussed at, I get spit on, I get made fun of, I get I get told to leave. Yeah, from some denomination buildings, surely. You know, they say, come to the house of God. You know, but when you begin to ask questions and you begin to stand up with the anointing of God and say, show me, that I can't find that. What are you talking about? This ain't, I, there's something wrong when, when, when we can't testify in a building that is called the house of God. Oh, we take too long. We're disturbing the service. There's something wrong when nobody wants to shout amen because, uh, Nobody's agreeing. What's going on? They're, they're under attack. Do you hear me? We are under attack. The body of uh, Christ is under attack. And uh, I know that the body of Christ is holding on. You see, if you continue to hold on to that unchanging hand, endure to the end, the same shall be saved. But you've got to hold on, my friend. And then you, you ask for prayer, you know, like if you're not only on Facebook, but in the real world, you know, like out. Well, Facebook's real, but I mean, you know, a, a different ministry side of the world. When you're walking through Walmart and you meet somebody and you say, hey, brother, how you doing? You know, uh, God bless you all. Remember me when you pray, you know, and uh, my family's going through something. While they forget that, by the time they get halfway home, most of the people. And listen to my words, most of the people. Now, if the shoe don't fit you, don't put it on. Don't be putting words in my mouth and say, well, that preacher said I don't pray for people, and I really do. I never said that. People assume a lot of things, and then they, uh, the devil gets in there, and they add to the conversation or take away from the conversation. You ought not add or take away uh, the Word of God. Do you hear me today now? This is real. Welcome to my world for a day. you got to deal with what? What do you deal with? Well, let's see. Some people that's uh, not obeying God, they don't deal with very much, do they? They lay around. They waste their time. They gossip. They talk about people. They make fun. They, but they don't do nothing to build up the name of Jesus. They don't do nothing to build up their friends and brothers and sisters. Most of them are jealous of somebody because uh, they're living uh, happier than they are. It's the truth. Welcome to my world for a day. 
that's kind of the basis of the program, and I will be sharing a few phone calls that came in uh, just last night. Amen. Even even during the program, every now and again, if you listen, uh, you'll hear a prank call comes in or somebody will call.